Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is Knight of the Ninth Arch from the Encyclopedia Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. The Knight of the Ninth Arch. The 13th degree of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite, called also the Royal Arch of Solomon, and sometimes the Royal Arch of Enoch. It is one of the most interesting and impressive of what are called the ineffable degrees. Its legend refers to Enoch and to the method by which, notwithstanding the destructive influence of the deluge and the lapse of time, he was enabled to preserve important secrets to be afterward communicated to the craft. According to the present ritual, its principal officers are a thrice puissant Grand Master representing King Solomon and two Wardens representing the King of Tyre and the Inspector Adoniram. Bodies of this degree are called chapters. The color is black strewed with tears. The jewel is a circular medal of gold around which is inscribed the following letters with the date Anno Enochi 2995. On the reverse is a blazing triangle with the tetragrammaton in the center in Samaritan letters. This degree claims great importance in the history of Masonic ritualism. It is found under various modifications in almost all the rites and indeed without it or something like it, the symbolism of Freemasonry cannot be considered as complete. Indebted for its origin to the inventive genius of the Chevalier Ramsay, it was adopted by the Council of the Emperors of the East and West, whence it passed into the ancient and accepted rite. Brought by Ramsay into England, where, however, he failed to secure its adoption, it subsequently gave rise to the Royal Arch of Dermot and that of Dunkerley. Though entirely different in its legend from the Royal Arch of the York and American rites, its symbolic design is the same, for one common thought of a treasure lost and found pervades them all. Vassal, who is exceedingly flippant in much that he has written of ecosism, says of this degree that, considered under its moral and religious aspects, it offers nothing either instructive or useful. It is evident that he understood nothing of its true symbolism. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment and if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.